Hey everybody, it's Gio from Microsoft at Florida International University, and today is December 27, 2013. It is 3.52 a.m., and I'm just up, so I'm going to be talking about objects in this video. Uh, for those of you who may need a little more clarification of how to use objects in Construct 2. And we're going to do a quick overview on the concept, and let's, we're going to jump into it. So... Uh, first and foremost, an object is a a uh, representation of a specific idea. That is the simplest definition I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, so ideally that means that an object is something like a book or like a square, right? You can think of those things and they're specific ideas. They're specific concepts that can be... Um, quantified they can be measured in terms of like hey I know what a book looks like right I know what a square looks like so you can get a grasp on the general aspect of those objects you know a a book can be different though you can have many books with many different names of many different sizes but you generally know what a book's like a book looks like a book you know has a title it has a lot of pages in it it has maybe a table of contents you know it has those things and it has an author generally and those properties are what makes a book or what make what make a book unique but at the same time a general like the term a book can mean any book out there right so that's a really good idea of how an object works. So I'm going to further elaborate on that by opening up a, pro opening up a project. And uh, so what I did was I created a blank project. And you can do the same just by going File, New, and then just clicking OK to the first thing you see. Uh, I'm going to just double click and add an object to this project. So in Construct, all you have to do to add an object to your um, project is double click the screen. Now make sure it's the layout screen and not the event sheet. But how easy is that, right? All you do is double click. So now I just name the object and I'm going to make it a sprite, right? I'm going to name it square because that's the type of object I'm going to make. So I'm going to click it, right? And boom, uh, I'm going to color it red. Now I'm also going to resize it. And this is pretty weird because most people will not use the construct editor to make their art. I do not recommend it, but it's a very quick fix for simple stuff like a square. If you want to load art to this game, just click this folder and you're going to load it in from wherever you have it on your computer into the game. And I recommend PNGs because they have transparent backgrounds usually, which will help you with game development since you generally don't want people to see what's behind your character if you have an image of your character, if you, if you get me. Um, I'll explain that a little bit later. But anyways, here is my square, right? And here is where I can go to select my square. Now, if you notice, this is a specific square. Whereas in Construct, this square under the objects type, object types folder, represents any square in your project. This represents, you know, any square in a class of squares, in a group of squares. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy the square and I'm going to paste it. And you may think that I have the same square, but in reality, I have two different squares. But both of these squares will be selected when I click this, because this selects all the squares in the square group or the square class and that's ideally how objects work these are specific squares whereas this class of squares represents all the squares in existence so these little ones are referred to as instances and an instance just means you have a single occurrence of something you know so like this is an instance of my square class this means I have one square and each square is unique because in construct the uid says that you know this guy has its own number assigned to him so the uid of this square is zero 
whereas the UID of this square is 1. And for now, that's enough proof for us. I'm just going to stop there, right? But the idea is that you can have many different squares, right? But they can all be unique. And at the same time, they're all of the same class. They're all the same type of object, but they can all have different characteristics, just like a book, you know? You can have many different books, but each book has different characteristics. Each book has a different title, a different author, different content in the pages, you know? Uh, so now I'm going to just click this play button, and you can run your layout and literally test it in your web browser. So when it's running, it looks just like this, and here are my two squares. So it's not going to do anything right now, but later we're going to get into stuff that will work. So have a nice day, and I hope that helped. Bye.